We're hoping to beat the challenge and afterwards we've got a dance competition as well. So that's going to be quite exciting with fabulous prizes. Uh, tickets, uh, family ticket, horrible histories at the Mayflower, uh, spa day at uh, Botley Grange, so all donated. Um, even the bubbly that we're using to greet the participants. It's, uh, 20 bottles from Haskins, about 24 from Titchfield Mill, uh, silk bow bookkeeping, Waitrose have all donated, so we haven't paid for any of the bubbly, which is super. David and I got married in 1974. Uh, we have four children. I lost him to cancer in 2011. So for me, this is a pretty special event for me and celebrating life. My mum was actually treated in cancer spent baton last year, so it's very close to us. And the dress you're wearing, is it your own? Yes, it is. It's uh, over 40 years old. <laughs> and you managed to get in it again? As long as I don't turn round, yes. <laughs> Why do we dress up like a boy today? Do you know? Because we're going to the wedding dresses. Tess is recently retired as a hearing dog for deaf people. I'm deaf. I've recently had a cochlear implant, but this dog is now 13. Um, so she's recently retired, now waiting for a new one. So I thought just to win this very special moment from Tess's life as a retired dog, it'd be nice to see him a little veil on. Part of the world record attempt um, involves people being in recognisable wedding dresses and also uh, headgear, so uh, tiaras or uh, veils. And so um, we recognise that uh, a number of people would turn up with dresses but without the headdress. There's two limos going to pick up our winner's who made the most sponsorship. Um, this group of girls called Rich's Angels have made over £4,000. We know we've just cleared the £5,000 mark. That is amazing. And so did you actually celebrate? And, and what did you celebrate in here on the way? Oh, well, we've had a pre-Brides in the Isles um, party back at our house with about between 40 and 50 people, I think. So that all the boys are back at home putting the children to bed. This is what I wore on my wedding day 24 years ago. And uh, this is the first time I took it out of the suitcase in the attic and tried it on and luckily it fitted me. I wouldn't usually dress up like this but uh, it was a good opportunity and uh, I thought, yeah, I'm going to go for it. I'm really enjoying it. Oh, why are you using lipstick on it? A friend of ours sadly passed away quite recently and spent some time there and his family were just so blessed by the care that he received there. We wanted to support them. They'll all be here and uh, we all wanted to be involved, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. And so, sir, uh, do you normally wear dresses? Um, uh, no comment. <laughs> I, 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 to be honest, I've hardly ever wear a bride's dress in my life before. But you're quite enjoying it, aren't you? Yeah, not very much, because it's really itchy. I'll only do it for lots of money. <laughs> Well, we didn't make the actual record, but we've made, um, we had more than last year, and we've made uh, at least £6,000 so far, waiting for other sponsorships to come in. Um, looked like everyone had a great time, big party atmosphere, and the dance-off was won by our wonderful Asian bride, who was the most incredible dancer. But we certainly were nowhere near beating the record, which is why we ended up with our big dance-off.